rough day, huh? Well, it's been a bad day. Tell me about it. Oh, it's been a bad day. It started early too, 5 a.m. Mima jumped up and she she had the shakes and the sweats and it turned out she had some sort of tick fever. She had a bite on her and it looked like a parrot did it, but it was it was a big swollen place on her and it wasn't a bad sore, it was a tick bite and she had the fever. So we had about a uh, 45 minute, an hour drive to the hospital and we thought it'd be a good idea to put some beans on the radiator under the hood so when we got to where we were going they'd be warm, we could have them for supper, just kind of share them, just kind of a snack till we got home, tied us over. Man, I got there and I forgot how hot they get and I I got a few, few, few pieces of ice but I've been, uh, boy I've been nursing these two fingers like a, like a mama cat. My uncle can't drive at night and he's got some sort of condition where his eyes glaze over and he goes right to sleep when it gets dark. And so I had to drive me and my uncle back and I tell you, me ma, she ain't a pleasant company after a shot in her behind and a tick fever and she is vomiting. I had to pull over twice. The third time I just said, oh, roll down the window, me ma, it don't matter no more. It stunk. I mean, her teeth stunk. Her hair stunk. Boy, I about had it up to my noggin, man, with this family time today. But I think Meemaw's gonna get calmed down now. We got home, we got some supper in us. Everybody's a little more civil. But I tell you, if I didn't know better, I thought I'd join the circus today. <laughs>